he has told me. And also in terms of the ESI indicator, so this university has well increased from six, so to top top one percent disciplines to fifteen disciplines. And uh, by 2018, we will all of our disciplines will be in top one percent. So looking at the predictions, by 2018, this university will be within within the 100 world class universities, and that's from the other ranking. So because uh, I mentioned a lot of numbers, because maybe many numbers does not mean anything to you. So in order to give you a more sort of clear image, I will make a comparison with the, with the other two uh, Singapore universities. Because I'm in SMU, so I don't uh, compete. <laughs> <laughs> so actually you can see that's the net asset. So now, the, actually, before I came here, I thought the increase of Chinese universities so should be the farthest. Actually, after I made this calculation, I realized actually this country, the university in this country, grows as fast as most Chinese universities. And that's the increase of the annual revenue. And that's the research revenue. And that's the faculty numbers. So we are a little bit decreased. And that's the total students. So we have certainly uh, much more students than the other two universities. And that's uh, the graduate students. And that's uh, the ESI included the research papers. So we are sort of catching up. But again, that also does not mean anything. That's only quality. So actually, it means so qualitatively, we also we sort of increase the dramatically, but the quantity is still the quality is still behind the two uh, other universities. And that's uh, yes, the average citation per paper. So we are far behind the other two universities. So that's uh, really the quality. And in terms of the number of highly cited papers. So the other two universities also performed better than us. So looking forward, SGTU in 2020, we set up this goal in 2007. So we set up for the different steps. And now we are in the, well, we are in 2013. Hopefully by end of this year, we will reach the goal for 2015. And looking forward, so that's uh, a major indicator of China from 2000 to 2020, and that's uh, the percentage of Chinese uh, GDP in terms of the in terms of world economy. And looking into the future, the dream is still to be realized. So the dream. As a leading university, SUG will play roles as a solid sense of a commitment towards truth and knowledge, and a soaring aspiration for even the dream and the ideals impossible. A torch of a passion and a belief that will not be extinguished. A deep sense of gratitude, hope, and social responsibilities that sustains throughout the historical moment. So yesterday, the president of China talked about the Chinese dream. So the Chinese dream of a great reunification of the Chinese nation is a dream of the whole nation as well as of every individual, and which is a dream of common prosperity and dignity, sustainable development, great contribution to the world. And I would like to end my lecture by sharing a story with you.
because I spend uh, my research training in Oxford. So every day I go through the uh, small museum, Alice in Wonderland. So when Alice asked the, the Red Queen, in this special country, why I worked so hard, but I can't move any further. And then the Red Queen told her, in this special country, you have to run as twice as, as hard as you ran before in order to achieve something. So in the past, we worked to get together with the rest of the world, especially some of the universities in this country is our partner. So I would like to run together with the, our Singapore partners. Thank you very much.